I'm excited to go back to school. It's fun, but in first grade it's even harder than kindergarten. We were chronic homeless for almost two years due to domestic violence and I was diagnosed as post-traumatic stress disorder. I was in a domestic violence issue, um, so that's what made me come here. And since then, I've been able to actually concentrate on school and work and taking care of my kids. <laughs> I got kicked out by my father, and it was really rough times, because my mother had passed in January. I became homeless while I was in high school. With the help of counseling, I got placed into La Casa Norte's supportive housing program. One of my main things was my housing. That's one of the reasons why I had to stop going to school because I couldn't find stable housing for me and the kids. Casa Norte is helping us to pay the rent. Now I know I have to study and do good things for us. I want to be independent and I want to have my uh, permanent job. And I know I need at least know English and get a certificate. I've been here at Solid Ground for about four months. Since then, I graduated from high school, and I'm currently attending college. And my career goals is culinary arts. Living in Solid Ground, it helps a lot. I hear it's so stable that I can come here, do homework, and go back to school with a fresh mentality from a good night's nice rest, instead of staying out in the cold and, you know, have to fend for something to eat. I was actually able to go to Computer Systems Institute and get my degree for phlebotomy. And then I was actually able to go back earlier this year and then I graduated and I'm a licensed phlebotomist from the state. And then once I take my exam at the end of this month, I will be a licensed medical assistant. Being in the youth in college program, like Casa Norte has provided me a room that I can sleep in and can call my home while I'm in college. It's a really unique experience that I wouldn't have gotten if I was homeless. Uh, sleeping in streets, trains or buses, I probably wouldn't have finished my education or complete my goal of becoming a teacher one day. All my mentors from La Casa Norte and from street soccer and the people here at Youth in College, they're all really important to me because it's all thanks to all their team effort that I can be motivated to get through what I need to and finish what I need to finish. There's not a lot of talk about these places. They always think about rallies and, you know, stop the drugs, stop the guns, but at the end of the day, it starts from the roots. And the roots is having an environment and a village behind you. Can't raise a child without a village. That's what my grandma always said.